Yeah, we've been hearing a lot of that honking outside of the Detroit ICE office as the protesters here behind me that are a part of Occupy ICE have been speaking out against Trump's policy, asking people to honk if they agree with them. Armed with signs with sayings like, One Love, One Destiny, volunteers and representatives with Metro Detroit Political Action Network began occupying ICE. It's important because in this very office, they take a number of immigrants, process them, and determine uh, detention centers that they would go to, what their status would be. Like that's, that's no wall, full citizenship, rights for all. In what began as a protest earlier today against separation of families at the border. I'm a mother myself, and to think of my children being ripped out of my arms is horrific. Growing to something much larger. Our short-term goal is to shut down operations at this particular center. Inspired by a Portland protest that resulted in the indefinite shutdown of an ICE detention center on Wednesday, Occupy ICE protests have popped up in other major cities like New York and Los Angeles. This is where a lot of the horrors start for these immigrant families. They may not be indefinitely detained here. Those are for the concentration camps that they set up. But a lot of processing and appointments and decisions about the status of an immigrant are determined here. Robert says they plan to camp out here outside the office for the next week. But he says it doesn't stop there. Our long-term goals are to abolish ICE entirely. The group plans to stay out here until June 30th. Bethany Moore, 7 Action News.